Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Pelipper. Now Pelipper is a really, really cool Pokemon. Obviously it hadn't seen much play prior to Generation 7, but it has had massive buffs and it is now a really, really awesome Pokemon. Um, the way that I run Pelipper typically is a support Pokemon, but I have got two generic sets for Pelipper today and one Dynamax set. So hopefully you will find something that works for you. Now the first set we have, first generic set we have is a Damp Rock Drizzle set. So this is setting up for a rain team. Obviously Pelipper is a really, really handy Pokemon to set up rain um, with that Drizzle ability. And then Damp Rock extends it from five turns to eight turns, which again can be absolutely huge, can make so much of a difference. Um, for moves, we've got Hurricane. Now, Hurricane hits 100% in the rain, so it works really well to have this on Pelipper. It makes 100% sense to have this on Pelipper because it's a really strong stab flying type attack and also has the chance to confuse. Um, you've got Defog to get rid of any um, anything that's set up. Toxic Spike, Spike, Stealth Rock, Sticky Web. Um, any, I believe it gets rid of any screens as well, so lots and lots of different things I've got rid of. Um, using that default, you've got Toxic. Um, now, Toxic, the idea is to start racking up Toxic damage uh, because Pelipper has got a lot of natural bulk to it. Um, so hopefully racking up that Toxic damage will have a long-term effect on opposing Pokemon. Um, not to mention if you want to switch out, switch in, um, get some different switches going on, it can be handy helping there. And Roost, just to make sure that you're keeping your health up because obviously this is much more of a support Pokemon. If you're running a rain team, you probably will want to get the rain set up multiple times in a match, so you will need Roost to make sure your health is at a healthy range and you are able to live the hits. Um, EVs, I've gone for max HP and max defense with a bold nature, so more defense and less attack, and then four EVs and special defense, special attack, sorry. If you want to read it off the screen how it is, it's slightly different, but uh, that doesn't really matter too much. The second generic set I have, now this is more of a, um, mixed set in a way so this is dealing a lot of different ideas at once um so i'll talk you through it drizzle again obviously pelipper's biggest thing is it's able to use drizzle uh, so that's really really good We've got leftovers to make sure we're healing up over time um roost i've already explained about so i won't go over that one again uh, we've got knockoff now knockoff is really handy because it can get rid of lots of different items now if a pokemon is holding for example a choice scarf and you can knock that off you can normally get a lot of momentum from it same with a leftovers uh same with an eviolite or eviolite however you say it so using knockoff to get rid of those items can be really really beneficial can be really handy and also do some chip damage got tailwind now tailwind is something that i don't typically use very often but i know it's very very handy so you set the Tailwind up, you have your speed of your team doubled um, for, I believe it's five turns, I should double check. Uh, four turns, sorry. Four turns that your speed is doubled. Now, this means that you can either have Pelipper still in or you can switch out to another Pokemon, uh, which allows them to be faster and they can start doing more damage uh, because they're not having to take these hits all the time. Uh, things like maybe Conkelda that could do with that doubling its speed. And I've put Scold on here as well because this is your defensive wall. This is 100% your defensive wall. So using Scold, it has the 30% chance to burn. Now, if you burn a Pokemon, it halves their attack stat. Um, so you're not going to be having as much effect on your body as uh, on your defense, sorry, um, as it would be if it was at full range. Um, now, a recommendation I would potentially put here is possibly run Rocky Helmets um, instead of Leftovers. It is definitely an option because. Uh, with that dwindled attack and that rocky helmet damage racking up, um, you will be working quite well. EVs, we've gone for the same as well, similar as before. We've got max HP, max defense, four EVs and attack. Um, it's got impish here, so more defense, less special attack. Um, you can always run less speed if you want to, but um, that is just an idea for the set there. Now, for the Dynamax set, um, this is working on Pelipper Speed because Pelipper Speed typically is not very good. Um, one thing you should know, or make sure you know about Dynamaxing is that when you are Dynamax, choice items, so choice spec, choice scarf, choice band, they are not in effect. So if you Dynamax, you are not going to be affected by your choice items. You are not locked in to a move. If you are out of Dynamax and you do click a move, you are locked into it, uh, but not whilst you're Dynamaxed. So the idea here would be to use Hurricane multiple times or um, 
Oh, Dynamax and then click Hurricane three times to increase your speed as much as you possibly can. Possibly do it two times, you could possibly then use um, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, or Surf one of the other times just to rack up a little bit of damage as well. Um, but the idea here is to get as much speed as you possibly can. Because if you can get plus two, you've got over 500 speed, and that is going to be out speeding a lot of different Pokemon. The choice fix increases the attack, special attack stat by 1.5 times, so you are looking at a very, very high special attack stat there um, that obviously you don't want to have to deal with if you're in the opposing team, especially if it's really fast. Um, and then you've got Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Surf. So you have five turns with Drizzle. Um, Hurricane is obviously uh, really 100% accurate in the in the rain, so you can use that. Hydro Pump is a bit more of a caution because it does have a chance to miss, um, but you can use that. That's why I've got Surf on here as well. And when you do go back to your normal form, uh, do make sure you're paying attention because you are going to have to choice specs. So if you've got, uh, for example, a Storm Drain Gastrodon, I think Gastrodon has Storm Drain, um, and you use Surf, that's not gonna have any effect because it's immune to the water type. But that is all I've got for Pelipper today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.